8,235 pounds, 320 BHDS Freedom Express, big, beautiful, triple slide private bunkhouse outside kitchen, monster camp and Asdell machine here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now, don't get me wrong, 8,200 pounds plus, it seems kind of interesting to put the moniker ultralight on there, but were it not built in the methods and conventions that a Freedom Express is constructed, this thing could easily weigh very close to and potentially exceeding 10,000 pounds. This is an awesome offset to things like the very popular 34 TSB Cougar here at Halet RV. The TS, basically if you flip the living room of this and the Cougar, you're gonna have pretty much the same camper. The difference is this has a very small slide on the campsite instead of a giant super slide. Not everybody likes the idea of that broken middle awning of the Cougar, which is where this one comes in, but it has many, many of its own merits, and it's not just an alternative to another camper that we have here at Halet RV. This thing is a straight stud of a model. One thing with this one, it is most certainly a destination use trailer. This is a, a thing you see in fifth wheels often. When you have opposing slides on an island, it pinches off that camper pretty quickly. So you're not going to get through very much when this one's closed. She's most certainly intended to be used all opened up. Now, in years past, when this model was first created, the TV, uh, the importance of the entertainment center to the average consumer, the level of intensity and need and desire and specificity was not there in the way that it is today. What all that means in simple English is people didn't used to care about where the TV is. And now people really do. So the entertainment center actually used to be located where that neat little coachman wall clock is. And it would spin to face the bunkhouse, which seemed really neat. The challenging part about that was that nobody actually got a good look at the TV that you were buying with the camper. Every single person had to do the 90 degree neck crank to try to see it. And I don't care if you're young or old, that gets tiring very quickly. So staying on trend and keeping in touch with their consumers, Freedom Express moved the entertainment center. And now it directly faces the sofa and it can swing out to face the kitchen and the dining area. And I think it was the one missing link in this puzzle, and it explains the reason why this is the single best-selling bunkhouse model from all of Freedom Express. And considering they are a huge producer of ultralight trailers, that says something. Um, but there's more than that. It's more than just a good entertainment center. There was an intangible quality. When I first walked in here, and I was, I was standing right where I am right now, and I went, there's something awesome going on here, and I'm trying to wrap my head around it. And as I walked forward, I realized something. It has definition. This RV has excellent definition of a kitchen space, of a dining space, of a living room entertainment space. Despite the fact that you have effectively one big giant open room, it has very well-defined sectors within that room. And I think that's the real kicker of this floor plan. Now, it has an awesome kitchen. I mean, uh, case in point, if we start opening everything up, you see that you've got those deep cabinets above the vent hood. Uh, we've got a huge pantry cabinet over there, and this is all pocket-screwed, longer-lasting cabinetry with raised panel hardwood doors in your upper areas. Um, the uh, Liberty Edition actually also gives us a larger 8-cubic-foot refrigerator. And, uh, you know, as opposed to a, uh, well, I don't even know if this model is built in a non-Liberty edition. I think this might be a Liberty only. There's only a few models that are like that. I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. You're going to be hard pressed to find this one not Liberty in the industry. Um, Liberty edition's given us a bigger refrigerator. It's giving us solid surface countertops here in the kitchen. And look at the overhang on this kitchen counter. They put an extra large countertop in there so that if you want to add a couple little bar stools or something to really maximize the family seating, dining, entertainment space, Buddy, you are just, you're in for a treat. You can do everything you want here. Now, sometimes the camera sees things different. This is actually like a very dark walnut tone here, as you can see when I get close. It's not a jet black. Sometimes folks get a little, whoo, why is there black in the kitchen? It's not, don't worry, don't have a heart attack. Um, and you can see how there was all that awesome drawer and cabinet space over there in the kitchen area. Did you also notice how they recessed the stove top to give you maximum prep space? But more than that, if you open up the island, you can see how there's built-in wastebasket space and extra storage down there below all of that. And there's also these full extension dinette drawers that you get when you upgrade to the Liberty Edition package. I mean, there's just storage all over the place, but at a glance, it's nice and clean and you don't see it. 
Now you can see the little LED accent lights at the base of the dinette there. There's also accent lighting under the sofa and in those overhead cabinets above. And while it looks neat during the day, it really helps at night if the little kids need to get, leave the bunkhouse and go up here to the bathroom. That's the other neat thing about this one. The bathroom is located next to mom and dad instead of being located next to the kids. And that's really cool for mom and dad if you need to get up and use the bathroom at night. Anyway, the point is you've got like uh, air traffic controller lighting helping guide them home. Big windows, they're all going to open for airflow and someone's going to go, well... Why didn't they put a window there? And that's an awesome question. The answer is because it is directly facing the other slide out in the bunkhouse, and there's not enough room in there for airflow to really get in there and do you any good. So they didn't waste the money. And that is another key thing on these Freedom Expresses, and it's another one of those things that makes me really love and appreciate these guys, this year especially. I've really been kind of uh, kind of criticized by some of the other manufacturers we carry that I've been a little too biased toward my Coachman products here at Halet RV. And I think it's because these folks are just absolutely dialed in, and they do a lot of the things that I like, and considering their huge growth in the marketplace, and they were already a big brand, I think that other people agree with me. Now, one of the things I normally talk about when I first walk in here, but I wanted to hit on the floor plan revisions first, is the extra tall interior ceiling on these. Most travel trailers have a six and a half foot wall with either nothing else, just a flat ceiling, or they might have that vaulted bubble ceiling. These are three inches taller with a linear interior profile. So they have a six foot nine interior, but taller walls mean taller slide outs, means taller cabinetry, more headroom in the bunks, more headroom in the shower. So it has a huge drastic effect on these things. Now we're going to talk about when we go outside a radiant barrier package, but another thing we like to do on these is we will put a 15,000 BTU air conditioner on our Freedom Expresses across the board. Unless something went wacky or weird, and always please double check our site or call our team to verify. Trust but verify, please. Um, you should have a 15,000 BTU air on this thing. And then you've got your uh, centralized heating through the floor with an enclosed heated belly. So it's a good extended season use RV. Um, so we've got an awesome kitchen, an awesome living space, and we're going to come back to the living room in a little bit. But what's behind door number one? Now, kind of by definition, the primary purpose of a bunkhouse is for sleeping, which is why we start with this uh, in the slide overhead bunk here with that nice little teddy bear cover. Then down here we come down to the Dalmatian print converter cube. I don't know if that's the official name for it. That's what I always call them. Because these things can only become and do whatever you want. You want them to be a sofa, a lounge, a sleeping area like this. And we've got the neat little uh, Coachman Dalmatian print here. The Coachman mascot is actually a, a Dalmatian. Oh, I always want to call the dog Spot because that's a stereotypical name for Dalmatians. But I believe it's actually Daisy. And this is all well and good uh, for nighttime. But part of the benefit of this big private rear room is that it gives you some daytime function as well. And then... On a rainy day, or at night, or whatever, this thing becomes an, just a kid's dream room. And I call it mom and dad's sanity room because you can shut a real door back here. And you can kind of just tell the kids, go to your room, chill out. Mom and dad need some time to just, you know, take in a movie on the TV or watch the news or whatever. And we need a bit of a breather. Or you put the kids to bed. You can have them down back here sleeping, and you can still enjoy your patio time under the awning with friends by the fire, or maybe just some mom and dad grown-up time, you know? Sometimes the two of you just need to talk about nothing, and you just need to be, hey, what are we doing tomorrow? you got to plan the day out. You can do all that here. So we've got a gas strut to keep this overhead bunk flipped up out of the way. Now, in a Liberty Edition, one of the other nice things we're going to get here is we're going to get the nicer roller shades as opposed to even pleated shades, and these things will just blot out the sun like the arrows of the Persian army from the movie 300. Apparently, I want to watch that movie. That's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, but... What's also neat is you have those same roller shades here in the bunkhouse, but what's even also even neater is that they don't bother putting fancy window treatments on these uh, windows. And at first, that seems like they're cutting a corner. But as a person who both camps with a kid and has seen a lot of campers come in on trade, I'll be the first to tell you the kids tossing, turning, jumping around, bucking, snorting, farting, whatever, they will bust those window treatments up like crazy. Those valances, those lambrequins, they're going to be toast. So Coachman got them out of the way in the Freedom Express. They, they just didn't spend money on something that was just going to look pretty, but it was going to end up failing or breaking over time. That is not who these folks are. Now, over here, we've got a 50% bigger, what I call, big kid bunk. It's above the outside kitchen. 
And below that, if you take a look, we've got our Kitty Climber rock wall and just an amazing amount of storage. And it is so funny. When we come through here, um, like if we're showing campers to people, and mom and dad think that the wall is just fun, it's colorful, it's cute, and, but the kids are just all over it. They're, the only problem with it is they end up fighting trying to see who gets to climb it first. <laughs> so you can see we've got amazing storage in this. And what's awesome there is the kids' stuff stays in the kids' room. It doesn't trickle in through the rest of the RV. And if you really need that extra help, since the TV doesn't spin around anymore, they added an extra set of TV hookups back here. So if you need, uh, there, are, this this is going to be a floor plan big enough. There's going to be like military families that maybe travel around or something like that. They're going to like this. Now there are also certain couples who maybe have like um, see, uh, or uh, like uh, snoring issues or something like that, and they need separate like bedroom spaces. That's what's kind of cool about this one. You, uh, one of the adults could have their own entertainment center back here, their own closet space. And you could swap this out for like a normal mattress. And then when you travel, you would just kind of flip it up against the wall right here. Another thing, these rear bunk rooms, these especially these big uh, rooms like this, all the way across or uh, on the opposite side of the RV from mom and dad's room, is for maybe kids who are sound sensitive. Uh, some of our folks who maybe have autistic children who are a, a lot more like sensitive to, to noises and bangs and stuff. So like if you do need to move around your bedroom or bathroom at night, it doesn't kind of jar the kids so much, you know, and they get their own private space where they get to kind of decompress and relax. And I think that's, I don't know that that's necessarily the expectation or the intention when this floor plan is put together, but that's one of those things I just kind of thought about. Um, having some friends with autistic children, I thought, you know, I bet they would really appreciate having a private bunk like this. Now, right by the door, we don't just have a closet. We have an awesome closet with all kinds of hanging storage. Everybody can have a couple jackets by the door. And you can even have extra, like, so there's, why, why didn't they run these shelves all the way to the wall? The answer is brooms, swiffers, shark vacuums, whatever. You can actually have a place to put those things and keep them out of the way. These old, full, floor-to-ceiling, six-foot-nine closets like this, you just don't see this in the marketplace anymore. But with over 50 years of experience in this industry, this is one of those things that a classic veteran brand like Coachman understands. If you've seen my videos you know that I say all the time, every brand is something better than someone else. And Coachman's is storage. These cats know storage like crazy. And a shoe garage. You got a whole big family, lots of shoes. Everyone's probably got more than one pair of shoes. You've got a perfect, nice little dedicated place to put them. And you close the door. And it doesn't look like some god-awful mess that's stressing you out because of the clutter. You're going to cut the clutter with this thing. Now, uh, over here, so we got our big super slide, and that's going to be the bulk of our daytime living space. But what else going to be? Because you got this huge, big private bunkhouse, but what if the kids want to bring tons of friends or something like that? Well, you can start by folding down the dining table here into a sleeper, and then you'll notice that even the hide-a-bed over here opens right up. Well, the sofa becomes a hide-a-bed, as it were, and that's a big trifold sleeper sofa. So this thing can sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like close to ten people if you need to. Seven without a, even a flinch, but maybe up to ten. Now, this table right here is uh, elliptical, free-floating. Um, this camper includes its own outside picnic table, but you maybe have a big family. If you want to do a ton of outdoor eating under that big awning that we're going to see opened up, this, this camper can get it done because that table could be a second picnic table for you. Or you can fold it down during those mom and dad times or whatever, and you can bring it over here like a little coffee table, maybe visiting with friends or something like that. So again, a little bit taller slide since we have a little bit taller ceiling here. And there's a good look at that entertainment center that swings out to be easily viewable pretty much no matter where you are in the living area here. There is no bad seat in the house. Now below it, we have an awesome little phone charging station. These extra pockets are designed for things like that with an electric space heating fireplace as part of the Liberty Edition. Remote controlled, whenever you're hooked up to uh, 110 park type power, um, you can kick that thing on as an electric space heater and another shoe garage below that. Do you need two shoe garages? No. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can always find something to do with space, but when something's blocked off, well, you can't do anything with it, can you? Um, the uh, bathroom here, remember, this is up by mom and dad's bedroom, obviously, and you can see how it's an easy dual entry. So mom and dad have a sliding door for each of these doors right here. So you can totally enclose off and privatize your bedroom. If someone else needs to get up at night and use the bathroom, they don't have to look at you while you're sleeping, which is, <laughs> that's creepy. Anyway, the point is, 
You can get to the bathroom without disturbing anyone, even if they're on the hide bed next to the bathroom. Or they can come over here and they can get to the bathroom without disturbing you. Porcelain foot flush stool. Now in the kitchen, we saw how we have the nicer solid surface countertops. Everywhere else, bathroom, dining table, whatever, you're going to get what's called thermofoil. It's a sealed edge pressed membrane. You can't like feel the wood. So let's say the kids are splashing water around here because they're horsing around like they're not supposed to. They never do that, am I right? My point is, not really a big deal. It's not really going to hurt anything. Now being taller camper, we also have a taller shower. So this big radius shower with an incredibly intelligently located skylight is extremely tall person friendly. You see how the uh, skylight's located right in front of the shower head right there. So uh, if you're six foot plus, this one's going to get it done very well. And when you're all done, you do have a place right here you can hang your towel up real quick so it can start drying out. Now, moving upstairs to mom and dad's room, we're going to begin the fact by not only is this camper taller with a nice tall shower, but it also has the longer 60 by 80 queen bed in here. So you do have a residential size queen bed. Normal queen sheets are going to fit this. Um, now, you can see that we've got the big side stands with power outlets, CPAP users, phone chargers, whatever, or it would be phone chargers, except in a Liberty Edition, you get that extra headboard pocket with some extra USB chargers up there for phones. You've got full-length hanging wardrobe closets, so no sharp points jabbing you in the arm if, as you like sit up in bed. And at a glance, you're thinking, yeah, but would I hit my head on those cabinets? And the answer is no. I've tested those out quite a few times. I've done a few effectively sit-ups on those, checking that out. Never an issue. Now, up here in the headboard, this is really kind of cool. If I kill the uh, main ceiling lights here, you've got a blue LED reading or night light up here. But you see that these are also the same thing. So if you really need to be able to uh, to sneak through here um, in the morning, at night, whatever, and get to stuff, but you don't like maybe your partner's over here sleeping and you have to get up early, you can still kick on a little bit of light in here that won't necessarily uh, bug anybody else who might be sleeping. It's a soft blue light, but it's also awesome for reading at night. Now, in the bedroom here, let me kick this light back on. We've got our TV hookups over there against the wall. Remember, that's a sliding door, so you probably don't want to mount it on there. Although, if you did do that and it slid in front of it, that might actually be kind of cool. i got to think about that. This door's not really structured for that, so be careful. You probably don't want that. You know what? Ignore that. <laughs> that's one of those things where, like, dad says something and my wife looks at me and goes, yeah, ignore your dad. So, anyway, moving on. Um, let's talk airflow. So, I mentioned how we have central air, but... Something I've started talking about recently, and they've been here for years, are the fact that like all, some of the nicer brands here have air vents that can like be closed off or turned or things like that to give you the airflow where you want it exactly, and an extra vent above the bed for even better airflow up here in this little bedroom. So if you do want to get some, uh, you can plug in a fan or something and get some cross breeze going through those big windows, you're going to be good to go. Now one of the questions we get all the time whenever you see a power awning and any sort of door side slide out under it is... Oh man, isn't that eating into my camping space? And the answer is, I mean, technically a little, but no, not really, not in any sort of effective manner. You have all sorts of good available awning space still left for this thing. You've even got uh, like TV hookups over here so that, you know, if you got a little outside picnic station, you're good to go. You could even put a picnic table beside the slide. Now there is a bit of an advantage actually to having the awning out over the slide out right here, especially with that refrigerator right there. And what, think about this guys, why on a hot day do you hang out under the awning? And the answer is because it's cooler. So logically, don't you think it's also providing shade to that slide out and helping your refrigerator uh, maintain temp more easily? And also, uh, you know, just generally keeping the RV a little cooler because the top of that slide out does not have the exact same insulation qualities as the top of the RV. So it's just an extra little shade and protection on your campsite. And that, that slide out, guys, it is just not big enough to cause any significant loss of camping space. So one of the main secrets to the sauce of these Freedom Expresses, and really the Coachman Ultralight family, like the uh, its little brother, the Apex, that we carry here at Halid RV as well. Um, those are some fantastic tiny campers, but the, obviously the Freedom Express represents two things at Coachman. They're top level trailer and ultralight. It's kind of two things mashed into one with the Liberty package here. So. Like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video, this thing conventionally constructed could easily be approaching over 9,000 to 10,000 pounds. And 8,200 pounds is still pretty significant, plan your tow vehicle accordingly. But how have they managed to keep it that light and weight? And the answer is 
better materials and construction. So we've got laminated, aluminum framed walls, floor, um, uh, you know, front rear walls, and then uh, really one of their, their main secret weapons, and they're not the only brand that uses the material called Asdel that I wanna show you here, but uh, Coachman is the brand that brought it to the mainstream of RV production. There's only one little spot you can actually see it, here in the door jam. It's that white stuff. It replaces Luan wall panel under the fiberglass skin directly. And what it does, guys, is it is lighter weight. It can't rot, mold, mildew. It's got a little better insulative quality. It's slightly more sound dampening, which is something I think anybody with a bunch of kids looking at a big bunkhouse can appreciate here. Um, it's a recycled material. It's basically melted pot bottles. And it, the, the weight savings on it is one of the main reasons for it. Now, this is something I need your help, ladies and gentlemen, across uh, North America and the world and the planet and the universe and whoever else is watching. Mr. Space Alien, Nanu, thank you. This thing. The Radiant Barrier Package. This is an optional item you can add to uh, any Freedom Express RV. And I think it's something I probably want to start including on more of my upgraded Liberty Editions. But I'd like your input on that. So what is it? What does it do for you? Basically, it takes a uh, like foil reflective material called Insultech, I believe it's called. And it begins at the bottom of the nose cap and wraps up across the roof and all the way back down even the rear wall. And what it is guys, it's not, it has nothing to do with R values. That's the thing that is so screwed up and that's the reason that these brands have all these false R52 R value ratings. They say, well this stuff, I don't know, I'll call it an R38. The problem is nobody can prove that wrong because there's no whistleblowers in here. It has, it does not change the R values of this camper whatsoever. But what it does is it basically just hard reflects the sun. So your nose and your roof those are the two biggest areas of sun exposure. Look at today. Look at how you've got shade on the sidewall, but the roof and the nose are getting sun on them. They are absorbing more solar rays, radiation, heat. Well, basically by having, if you think of it sort of like tin foil over an old floor heat register, or something like that, you're just shunting that heat away from the coach and away from the body. It keeps your bedroom, your whole coach cooler and more comfortable. Um, then, Let's say you're spring and fall camping and you're pumping heat into the RV. It will trap basically because heat rises and it wants to bleed through the roof. Well, it will help trap that heat into the RV and make your furnace run far more efficiently. Does that make this some fancy pants four seasons coach? Not by definition. There is no actual hot cold temp testing done on a Freedom Express. Do I think it certainly helps? Would I like it there if I was gonna cold camp? You bet your bottom dollar. You put a skirt on this thing and uh, now if it's gonna be crazy silly, low degree Arctic camping, you have to maybe throw some supplemental underbelly heat on it, you'd probably be okay. But, you know, it's something that certainly helps, but it costs a couple hundred bucks, guys. So what I'd be curious to know is, do you think the extra convenience, comfort, airflow efficiency, because uh, with a 15,000 BTU and the Radiant Barrier Package, I feel very confident you could take this to just about any area of our country midsummer and have no issues because uh, we see that Radiant Barrier stuff used in other brands like our big Keystone Fusion toy haulers have it all over the place. Other campers have it. It does an amazing job of keeping the sun out and the cold temperature heat in. So let me know what you think about that. Please leave some information in the, in the feedback there. Sorry to kind of go way off, you know, normal topic here, but that's a big item I'd like to learn about, or your impressions on. Liberty Edition, magnet catches, slam latches, easy one-hand operation, and actually if I close this down, you can listen. They're the nicer metallic ones, not the cheaper plastic ones. Huge front storage compartment. Freedom Express was really uh, the brand who first said, we're going to make trailers light, but full size, guys. And that's what these guys do. Now, you can see that picnic table included with this. And just like under the awning, you actually have a full length LED right light that runs down the, the length of that front area there. Um, it, it just, it makes it so much easier to get through everything. Now a normal Freedom Express, like, hey, here we go. Look at this little 24 foot rear kitchen. Has a three quarter cap. Liberty Edition upgrades to a full cap with some uh, these like uh, extra heavy duty, super duper thick, crazy, lower effectively decals, but stick on stone guards basically. Um, Liberty Edition has a full power stabilization system that you actually control off the tongue there. If you look at that tongue jack, you see how that little housing is flipped open? That is your controller for all the jacks. You don't have to bend over. You don't have to, you know, take a knee and crank a jack, although they do have a simple manual override, but you can control everything right up front there 
and then you can lock it so that the neighbor kid who is poorly supervised nobody likes that kid um, comes through and doesn't mess with your jacks. Tongue mounted spare tire leaves the rear bumper open which is very nice for folks who want to add a bike rack to something like this. Um, talked about the underbelly. The baggage door hinges are sealed and protected here to keep water out of those so that the door you know doesn't get like when you open it it goes screech which you know they will over time. Our windows are all tinted. Remember how I said there's no window on that side of the super slide? This is why. It wouldn't do anything. It would be a pointless, wasted money window. So, you know, they don't put money in this just to put money into it. They, instead of spending money on a wasted window, they were able to put money in nicer things like the Asdell, nicer things like the taller ceiling, uh, the radiant package, etc. You get the idea. A rear ladder is also an optional piece of equipment on these, as is that bigger air conditioner. And those are things that we typically put on our Freedom Expresses, like I said, just as a matter of happenstance. Now, uh, this is, again why I keep getting accused of being a little too biased toward our Freedom Expresses, and that is things like intelligent placement of hookups. If you're gonna be at a park where your, you know, all of your water cable uh, power hookups are, it's all here in the rear corner of the camper. So why is it so many campers don't have the hookups in the rear corner? Well, can't tell you. But I can tell you that the guys at Freedom Express understand that, or pardon me, the men and women at Freedom Express, because uh, Meg, who's one of the, the, the main product developers down there, she does just a fantastic job of helping figure stuff like that out. You know why? You know why it, it, it works so well? Because the people that build these actually go camping too. That, that is the Freedom Express difference right there, more than any other one single factor, I do believe. Um, over here, we've got a full-size outside kitchen. Some folks like the low profile, some like the big profile. What I like about the Freedom Express outside kitchen is that they lowered the refrigerator down so you can have little kid bottles of water or bug juice or whatever down here and you can have mom and dad's uh, you know pre-mixed drinks, uh, wine coolers, is that even still a thing? You get the idea. Bottled barley pop or whatever up here. And just handy little general utility storage. You want to add a TV for tailgating? Bang, you're good to go. More of that thermal foil, uh, sealed edge, waterproof countertop stuff, and a real sink with a real drain. Not a dog dish. It doesn't just dribble onto the ground. Extra power outlets over here, so if you want to make this thing a little margarita station, you can. You've got a... Uh, now, normally in a Freedom Express, you'd find one of these under the sink in the, in the um, kitchen area. In an island model, that's not the case, but you still have one of these little utensil drawer organizers in the kitchen, in the drawers, if you remember seeing that. But this is the Coachman Utensil Drawer found in the Freedom Expresses. It wraps around the sink, and it gives you the best use of space under a sink you've ever seen. Now, that insert can be removed. This grill is free-floating. It can be removed. Your picnic table can be moved. None of this is stuck in place. You can camp however you want to with a Freedom Express. You can take your stuff over to your buddy Gary's campsite and go, Yo, Gary, we're grilling, baby! Woo! Go football, sports ball team! I, I don't watch sports. Anyway. <laughs> sports ball. I love points ball. My point is, guys... It's one of the best, most flexible, excellent execution outside kitchens I've seen. And this thing does not hook into the camper. Because when it hooks into the camper, that is a low-pressure, low-output propane system. That is designed for a high-pressure, portable bottle system. So you can take that anywhere, and it takes a hefty gust of wind to blow that out. Now, right here, this is a... It, this camper is a lot of things, but short... <laughs> Not one of those. And that's where this comes in handy, those wide stance stability axles. They help you cheat the wheelbase, they help the camper not wiggle, not sway, and they help the camper tow much more uh, smoothly and nicely and evenly um, so that even a, a, a shorter wheelbase pickup is less inclined to get shoved and pushed around the road. Now we've got the nicer plank steps, uh, the aluminum plank steps that come with the Liberty Edition. All Freedom Expresses are gonna have a, a simple side mount solar prep plug up there next to that front storage compartment. And they all come with, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Halet RV blessing. I don't know that that's actually worth anything. <laughs> it doesn't actually add any resale value. There should be a disclaimer on that. Anyway, you get the point. It does a lot of stuff, guys, and we're a dealer who does a lot of things. Um, doesn't matter if you live close. Doesn't matter if you live far. We live right next to the, the, the factory, basically, where these things are made. We're less than an hour away from the factory's front door. We don't pay huge shipping costs. So even if we need to send it down to your front door, let's say you live a long way away, you're like, well, 
uh, how could you ever beat the price of my local dealer once you ship it down here? Remember that they had to get it shipped down there too. So that doesn't change. But we do everything short of hidden fees. We don't do hidden dealer fees, by the way, but we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals. We'll deliver it to your front door, to your campsite, to your neighbor's house, whatever you want. We do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.